Hello everyone, I'm back, and today I'm here to maximize your fear. So far, 2023 has been a year filled with many strange things caught on camera. From weird unidentified creatures, to killers, and to many other unexplainable phenomena. So today I decided to highlight some of the most chilling and downright horrifying things caught on camera this year, along with their truly disturbing backstories. So grab your popcorn and allow your fear to be maximized as we recap the scariest clips of 2023. This allegedly true story and footage was told by a TikTok user named Creeptime at the end of March of 2023. Creeptime posts frequent videos on the topic of scary stories and scary things caught on camera, but this has to be his most disturbing story ever. This is the story of the McGrady tapes. It begins all the way back in 2001. In 2001, a blank and labelless VHS tape was dropped off outside of a blockbuster in McGrady, North Carolina. If you do not know or were not old enough to remember, VHS tapes were the most popular way to watch movies or videos. They were physical plastic rectangles that you place into a VHS player that was connected to your TV. Along with the popularity of VHS tapes, stores like Blockbuster and Redbox became very successful. You could go and rent or purchase movies stored on these VHS tapes sold at these stores. Blockbuster would always get lots of returns from people who rented movies. But this return I am about to talk about was something that nobody could have ever expected. So as I was previously saying, a blank and labelless VHS tape was dropped off outside of a Blockbuster in McGrady, North Carolina. An unknown car drove by and just dropped it off in the parking lot for some reason. One of the staff members actually watched this happen. He said the car pulled up, opened the door immediately, and just dropped the tape right off on the ground. And then they quickly sped off. He thought this was strange, but figured he'd go ahead and retrieve the tape. He picked it up off of the Blockbuster parking lot and took it inside. He showed the other workers this strange, unmarked tape, and they were all puzzled. They thought it was just probably one of their own VHS tapes someone was returning, but they didn't know which because there was no information on it. So they got the idea to pop it into a VHS player in the back room of the Blockbuster. So that's exactly what they did, but as soon as it started playing, they immediately regretted their decision, and they knew the tape was not theirs. When the Blockbuster staff watched the tape, they were deeply disturbed. All it contained was 40 minutes of footage of some disturbed looking human peering under what appears to be a bathroom stall, accompanied by the heavy breathing of the cameraman. The footage went on for 40 minutes straight, just 40 minutes of this face staring into the camera. The cameraman's breathing made it seem like he was in danger. The employees were so shocked and just creeped out by this footage that they didn't know what to do, so they decided to call the police. The police showed up and allegedly took the tape and didn't take it seriously at first. That is until later when they had one of their dogs sniff the tape. The dogs alerted to traces of human decomposition on the tape. An investigation was launched, however the case was never solved. Who the decomposition matter belonged to is unknown, and also the person who dropped the tape off remains unknown to this day. Now the full VHS footage has never been released. However, this photo that I've been showing throughout the story is the infamous photo from the McGrady tapes. So when I first show this clip, you are not going to know why this is one of the most disturbing pieces of footage on the entire internet. But once you hear the horrifying backstory, then you will know. To get the full effect, I'm going to show you the clip first, and then I will tell you the backstory, and then I will show the clip again. So here is the footage. What's the biggest mistake you made at your wedding? Honey, I love you, but said I do. <laughs> Not my mistake. I love my wife. I'm going to get in trouble for that, aren't I? Yeah. <laughs> now, most of us know the show Family Feud. It is a game show where two families go head to head trying to acquire the most points by answering the most correct questions. It is hosted by Steve Harvey, who is 66 years old and is a well-known and very respected TV show host. Family Feud is one of the most viewed game shows of all time, with multi-millions of viewers still tuning in every single day. 
There have been some crazy, cool, and funny moments on the show, but less popular are the truly disturbing moments. And this one right here takes the cake. This episode was originally aired in 2020. The man who made the joke was 39-year-old Timothy Bleefnik. Timothy Bleefnik seemed like a normal guy. He had a beautiful family, a 41-year-old wife Becky, along with three young boys. He and his wife had been married since 2009. He always seemed to be a very nice and funny guy. He was loved by his family and everyone around him. However, as we all know, looks can be deceiving. Although it appeared to outsiders like they had an amazing family life, Timothy and his wife had a pretty toxic relationship. In 2023, they were in the process of getting divorced, and his wife Becky reportedly filed restraining orders against Timothy. With their divorce came even more problems with legal battles and certain custodies that each other wanted. However, this is where things would take a turn for the worst. On February 23rd, 2023, Timothy Bleefnik snuck into his wife's house and shot her three times. She failed to pick up her three kids from school the next day, and this is when the police were alerted and showed up to her house and found her. She was deceased. Timothy was arrested for the murder of his own wife. This trial is still ongoing and Timothy is currently pleading not guilty. That being said, he is innocent until proven guilty. However, there is already substantial evidence against him, and it definitely looks like he's the culprit. This is a very tragic story. Who would have guessed that this seemingly normal family would have something so horrible happen to them? Becky's sister created a GoFundMe called Becky Bleefnik Memorial and Support Fund. GoFundMe is a donation website where anyone can donate. Becky's sister has raised over $95,000 for their family. Their goal is to reach $100,000 raised. So if any of you would like to donate and support the Bleefnicks, all you have to do is do a Google search for Becky Bleefnik GoFundMe, and it will be right there. And now that you know the full backstory, here is that clip again. What's the biggest mistake you made at your wedding? Honey, I love you, but said I do. <laughs> Not my mistake, I love my wife. I'm gonna get in trouble for that, aren't I? Yeah. <laughs> This footage was uploaded to TikTok on March 26th, 2023. The following video is of a parrot named Coco. The owner of the parrot began filming this video because her parrot was acting strange. I don't know if it's just me, but something seems off about this bird. It almost seems disturbed and psychotic. Check out the footage. I think you're gonna bite my no. toes. No. I'm not gonna hurt you. Oh my gosh, you're so Come sweet. Here. Uh uh, I, I'm no. a little bit. You're so What's strong. What's the matter? To bite me. No, I'm not gonna hurt you. What's the matter? I love you. I just said, no. I just need some time before we do that, okay? See, that's Come here. why. What's the matter? I still think you're gonna bite me. I'm sorry. What's the matter? See? Wait! That's why. You, you scared me. You tried to hurt me. I'm not gonna hurt you. As you can hear, the bird repeats, I'm not going to hurt you, and things like that, then proceeds to attack the owner. This bird definitely seems very creepy. There were a few theories in the comments, one of them being that this bird was possibly owned by a serial killer before this new owner purchased it. If you don't know, parrots only repeat words and phrases they have heard before, so who taught it to act like this? The way it lies and acts like it's not going to hurt them, and then it does. Sounds like something serial killers are known to do and say. Others thought that the bird could even possibly be possessed. The deeply disturbed look on its face, the way it is talking, and the things it's repeating shook people to the core and thought that a paranormal explanation is the most likely. However, most people just think that it is a normal parrot with just some strange behaviors. Either way, this thing definitely seems evil, and I would definitely stay away from it. This next video is truly horrifying. Most of us know who Jeffrey Dahmer is. He was one of the most infamous serial killers in the entire world. Also known as the Milwaukee Cannibal or Milwaukee Monster, he was an American serial killer who killed and dismembered 17 different men and boys. His rampage took place between 1978 and 1991. The thing he is most known for is that he would eat his victims. He was finally caught in 1991 and he confessed to everything. 
Shortly after being put in prison, he was murdered by a fellow inmate. However, this clip takes place during his rampage. While he was in the middle of his killing spree, a video would be taken of him, and it has not been seen by many. The video was taken in his apartment on Thanksgiving Day. At this time, he had already killed and eaten nine people. The most disturbing part of this video is what he is saying. Listen closely. Like I said before, it gets too expensive and it does. I have to start eating at home more. He says, I have to start eating at home more. Nobody knew what he meant by this at the time, but now knowing what he did, looking back on this footage is absolutely horrifying. Definitely one of the scariest pieces of footage on the internet. This video clip was posted to TikTok on December 2nd, 2022. It was uploaded by a user named Josiah Worley. This may be one of the most unexplainable videos you will ever see. The video starts off with the user zooming in on a bowl with a knife in it in his kitchen. He begins talking about how he made some kind of mistake when he was drinking. The video seems completely normal, but this is when something strange happens. Okay, so I will say I'm stupid for drinking. Knife fell out of that little knife container thingy. No. 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 It, actually, I'm. Oh, uh, what the f happened? Right in front of my face. No. As you could see, the knife seemingly jumped out of the knife holder all on its own and somehow landed perfectly into the wooden floor. The user then continues the video on to show that there is no way that this could have been staged. He grabs the knife and puts it back into the holder. It's a regular old knife container thingy. <laughs> Stop, I just want, I'm not even hungry anymore. He seems very shaken up and he is seen visibly shaking. He and no one else have been able to figure out how this could have happened. What possibly could have caused this? This is definitely some footage that no one was supposed to see. On November 30th, Florida residents would capture something horrifying and devastating on camera. In West Melbourne, Florida, a 53-year-old man rear-ended a vehicle and drove through the front window of the local Phantom Fireworks. Phantom Fireworks is a chain of stores that sells lots of fireworks. Have you ever thought about what would happen if a store like this caught on fire? Well, now we know. After the man drove into the store, his car began to spark and it eventually caught fire. This started a chain reaction and soon enough the whole building became a giant eruption of fireworks. just drove into the fireworks store and it is going to explode. The whole building was engulfed in flames and it ended up burning down completely. Luckily, everyone who was inside the store escaped with their lives. However, the driver was not so lucky. The driver was later identified as 53-year-old John Marcano. He had supposedly had a stroke and that is when he slammed into another car and then flew off the road and into the Phantom Fireworks building. This was very tragic and my condolences go out to the family and friends of John Marcano. On April 27, 2021, some strange footage was uploaded to YouTube by Good Morning America. The title of the video reads, Unidentified object caught on camera flying close to the SpaceX capsule 1 GMA. The footage from the camera attached to the SpaceX Crew Dragon rocket captures a strange rock-like object flying past, almost hitting it. It almost looks as if it were intentionally thrown at the rocket. But how could this be if they are in space and no one is around to throw this rock? No one knows if this object came from the rocket or from somewhere else. Sources say it could be from liquid oxygen in the rocket, others are not so sure. The SpaceX Crew Dragon rocket had four astronauts on board, and if this rock would have even grazed the rocket, it could have been game over for all of them. This happened just 12 minutes after the rocket left planet Earth. It was right after part of the rocket separated from the dragon, and that is when the strange object flies past at a very fast speed. There still has been no official confirmation on what the object was. Let me know what you think it was in the comments. This video was caught on November 14th, 2014 in Russia. The driver is seen driving down an eerily dark highway at night. 
The footage is almost pitch black until an ominous red glow can be seen suddenly appearing in the sky. The glowing light slowly intensifies until the entire sky is filled with an extremely bright orange and yellow light. The light stays for a few seconds and then it begins to slowly fade away. Once again the sky turns blood red and then eventually it is pitch black again. Now this footage has people and even scientists confused. According to a local news station, the initial cause of this phenomenon was presumed to be by the Russian military performing a disposal of explosives. However, there aren't any bases where this took place, and a military representative was asked, and he even said that they were not involved. So what could this strange phenomenon be? Let me know what you guys think in the comments, and here is the clip. This video was captured in Milwaukee, Wisconsin by a tower camera that Fox 6 News uses for their live broadcasts. The tower camera live streams footage, so there is no way that this footage can be edited or tweaked in any way. This happened on a very early Tuesday morning on February 27, 2018 at around 4.43 a.m. Fox 6 News Milwaukee ended up taking a look at their tower camera footage and they witnessed something odd flying in the sky over downtown Milwaukee. This happened mid-broadcast on live TV. You can hear even the newscasters are very confused by what's happening, and they can't determine what's causing it. What is that? Aliens? The heck what is, is that? that? Am I, you see it, right? I'm actually, uh, okay. I do see it. Okay. We're, it's we're, getting we're, weirder by the second. I know. Are we rolling on that? What do you think that was? The news reporters could not come up with how this could have happened and what could have possibly caused it. This story went absolutely viral, however despite millions of viewers, still no one was able to explain it. And it still remains just as much of a mystery to this day. In July of 2016, four kids caught something absolutely horrifying on camera and they didn't even know. The four boys were 15 years old at the time and they loved being outdoors and out in nature. These four boys all lived in the same neighborhood and they were best friends who hung out almost every single day. Growing up, they spent a lot of time at a specific neighborhood pond in the back of their neighborhood. At this pond, they would catch fish, turtles, frogs, and just explore the area around it. However, this specific day, they decided not to go to the pond, and they wanted to do something even more adventurous. They all had heard about this abandoned house deep in the woods that was only about 10 minutes away from where they lived, and they figured that this would be a perfect opportunity. So they hiked through the woods and eventually got to the abandoned house, and it looked extremely old and creepy. They walked around the exterior of their house and filmed it on their phones the whole time. And they were hoping to capture something creepy on camera, however after investigating for a while and not catching anything, they decided to leave. It wasn't until later that night that one of the boys was sitting on their couch in their living room, going back through the footage on their phone, looking through the videos, when he realized something absolutely terrifying. When he saw what he caught on camera, he immediately got the most chills he had ever gotten in his whole life. Chills shot through his entire body and his first reaction was to just throw his phone at the ground. He was in absolute shock at what he had caught on camera. And that boy was me. I was one of the boys who went to the abandoned house and I was the one who took the video. The three other boys were my twin brother Alex and two of my best friends who live across the street. And here is the footage that I caught.
All right, I think that's going to be it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed, and if you did enjoy, go ahead and smash the like button's mom. Let's aim for 300 likes for another one of these disturbing things caught on camera videos. And if you want to get to know me more, or you want to see more of my spooky content, you can go ahead and follow me on Instagram, Maxwell Fear. Or you can go ahead and follow me on TikTok, Maximum Fear. And also make sure to subscribe to the channel because 96% of you guys who watch my videos are not subscribed. And also turn on that bell so you don't miss when I upload. Alright, I hope your fear was maximized. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.